Hi, primary teachers. What does Math Talk sound like in your classroom? Check out this idea for how to get students to share their thinking. Strengthening discussions can be found in Teaching Children Mathematics in the January 2014 edition. I really love this article because I think it can help guide our primary classrooms in how to do strategy sharing, um, which is something that is a big new thought for many of us with um, Common Core and that students have to be able to prove their answers and talk about flawed thinking and others. So I think that this is going to offer some practical tips for our classrooms. But before we move on, I want to develop a common language so we all understand what strategy sharing means. We can define it for this, this purpose today as student-led discussions that's big to remember, teachers talk less, students talk more, where children are presenting their approach to a problem and then they're explaining how they solved it. So then we're going to look today at what are some things that teachers can do to strengthen these discussions because we might have tried this in our classroom and maybe it didn't go well. Maybe our students don't know what words to use to explain. But we want to enhance student ownership of the strategies and understanding of math. So that's where we'll focus in on today on what this could look like in your classroom. Before we get into the specifics of a strategy share, I just want to tell you that this study where they where they focused in and really studied student interaction was centered on a first grade classroom and a fourth grade classroom. The author observed for over a year. They collected data each um, for a week each trimester, which included videotaping the sharing lessons and student interviews with focused students throughout the school year. Maybe one of the hardest things about sharing strategies is getting students to embrace their mistakes. We need to foster a culture in our classroom where students are expected to discuss their mistakes and the mistakes of their classmates. We have to create a respectful atmosphere where it's okay for students to take risks and make mistakes. Because oftentimes when we talk about where the mistakes happen, it's when teachers can see where the flawed thinking is to help make corrections. Um, and it helps pull the class together to move, to move towards a solution. So when you're doing um, strategy sharing in your classroom, um, sharing mistakes sounds a lot like, I'd like to revise my thinking as students make uh, or have aha moments about something. And affirming students by saying things like, that's a de desirable contribution. So that students know when they share something that is a mistake, there's still something that can be learned in it. So really fostering that sense of taking risks in the classroom and embracing mistakes so that we can lead to the correct understanding is something that's going to be a challenge, but very, very necessary for sharing strategy discussions. Moving on to the actual act of sharing strategies. When the student is the sharer, and we want them to have a wide range of tools in their tool belt. So they can do anything from um, drawing out their explanation, they can write about it, they can use um, manipulatives to explain their thinking, they can act it out, they can um, use charts or tables or diagrams, anything that's in their toolbox to help explain their strategy how they solved it, and their thinking, why they, why they chose that strategy or how they thought it out. Um, all of those are valuable things that, that students should be sharing and that the listeners can learn um, to add strategies to their toolbox. I think we have to set the expectation publicly that they have to share, and then teachers have to be ready to probe for deeper sharing with questions. And so that might sound like, um, when you tell us how you solved it, tell us how you got your answer and why you chose it to solve it that way. Teachers need to be ready to model that and have some questions to probe for deeper sharing. Perhaps the hardest part of strategy sharing is the listening part. Because for the most part, students are not going to be the sharer, they're going to be the listener. And so that can be a hard thing to train primary students to do. But here are some ideas. We want to encourage students to be good listeners because we want them to add to their toolbox of strategies. So they may hear a friend present a problem in a way that they never thought of and it may add to deeper understanding of the problem for them so they can put that strategy in their toolbox. We have to directly ask students to put aside their thinking and to try to see the problem through someone else's eyes. And so that's something that we can directly teach to um, and teach them how to be attentive listeners for that. 
We also want to ask our friends to consider the logic that is shared. Again, that goes back to evaluating whether there are mistakes or not. So we want them to look at the strategy with a critical eye and then again possibly incorporate it into his or her own repertoire of strategies. When students are listening, it may sound like you saying, I'm going to give you another problem and I want you to try to solve it using her strategy. Or why did both of these strategies work? Or how is your strategy the same or different? I think there are a lot of great ideas in this article for how we can use strategy sharing discussions effectively in primary grades. So give it a try.